First we had Reboot Mania, now we've got Prequel Mania. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Paranormal Activity 3. This is not simply about Kristen. This is connected to your side of the family. It definitely knows about her. Katie? I'm worried about you and the girls. Somebody say something! I felt like digging in my side. Did you hear that? It's okay. I was scared. And you can thank George Lucas. Yes, while audiences have had a love, mostly hate relationship with his Star Wars prequels, all Hollywood saw were those dollar signs. Lucas had not only cemented a new way to extend a hit franchise, but one that didn't include the pesky salary demands from talent that a sequel does. In fact, with a prequel, Hollywood can even cheap out on talent, as the franchise name alone is enough to entice audiences. And since The Phantom Menace, Hollywood has released 15 prequels, the majority of which have been quite successful. Now, the first Paranormal Activity film focused on a haunted young woman named Katie. The sequel then ran parallel to the first film, revealing what Katie's sister Christy had to do with the haunting. Both movies made an obscene amount of money, especially considering how little they cost to make. So, of course, Paramount wanted to make a third film. Only problem was that due to the storylines of the first two films, semi-spoiler alert, they kind of didn't have any place to go. And that's where Paramount got down on their knees and prayed to the Hollywood deity that is George Lucas, for they could make a prequel. Paranormal Activity 3 tells the chilling story of how Katie and Christy first got involved with said demon when they were two little girls sharing a room. And it might just be the scariest version yet, as while the series has always focused on things that go bump in the night, the bumps always seem a lot louder when you're a kid. And as added insurance, Paramount is hoping that directors Ariel Shulman and Henry Juice will do for Nightlights what they did for Friending Strangers on Facebook. Will the prequel strategy give a new lease on box office life to this boffo franchise? Let's go find out. In your opinion, is this franchise getting better or worse? Um, I would say it's getting a lot better. I think it's getting worse. I didn't like it. Ooh, what didn't you like about it? Um, I think that the storyline was, it's, it, it didn't make any sense. So have you seen the first Paranormal Activity movies? No. First two. Oh, so what made you go and see this one today? Because I wanted to see a suspense film. Did you? Did you see one that was suspenseful? This film was extraordinary. I'm a huge horror buff myself. Yeah. And I would say this is definitely the best one out of all of them. For oh sure. wow! Oh, so yeah. what makes it the best paranormal activity? Um, I think they they actually put more time into this one. The okay. second movie was definitely better than this. Oh, it I was. would say that. Okay. Yeah, right. for sure. Is that your favorite paranormal activity? The second one? I would say so. Yeah. They're milking it right now, and I expect a little bit more. But I think the sisters, the actors, the um, Katie and Chrissy did a great job. In this movie, the two little girls. Yeah. yeah. I thought the previous actors, like the when they were older, the sisters when they were older in the previous movies, were kind of annoying. And I thought these ones were actually more authentic. Oh, so, you like them? Oh, yeah, good. Okay. I really like them. It was a very fresh film. I, I've rarely ever seen a film that gave. Uh, you're feeling like it's happening at the actual moment. It's oh, yeah? Film, and I've seen many thousands of films. Was it scary at all? I mean, there were some parts of it. It was more of a uh, suspense movie, obviously, but yeah. it was not up to my expectations. We've talked to some other people who didn't like the movie. Really? Yes. What do you say to that? What's your defense of uh, Parallel Activity 3? I mean, it does do it all. It's like a waiting game where you have to wait and wait and wait for it to build up. But once it actually gets going at the end, it's really worth it, in my opinion. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. The commercials they showed on TV, there was so much that was, I guess, cut out from the movie. I, I just, I don't know. So there was stuff in the trailers and commercials that wasn't in the movie? No. A year ago, this franchise killed Saw. Yeah, pretty much. Do you think the better franchise won? Oh, for sure. Saw lost its edge after the second one. What I have to say, yeah, I kind of think Saw was... Isn't there like 700 of Saws? <laughs> yeah, they got, they got up there. They, well, do you think we're getting up there in Paranormal Activity? Do you think we should have a new franchise? No, no, this is fine. Okay. This is fine. I, th I think three, it's fine. Um, leave it at three, please, leave it at three. Okay. I think I would like to see the fourth one, just to see where this is going. I mean, the first two was really good, but the third just let me down. I would because the ending like leaves room for way too much debate. Like, it just kind of cuts off. So it's like, wait, what's going on? Oh. So. What do you give this movie on a 1 to 10? Um, I would give it, honestly, I yeah. would probably give it a 4. I'd probably give it an 8. Um, I'd give it like a 4. 9. Oh, okay, great. Why are you taking one point off? Uh, because it's not Grand Illusion or City Lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paranormal yeah. Activity 3 will take your 9. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like Paranormal Activity 3 is hit or miss as audiences overall give the film a 6. 
I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.